This is part two on how to solve the fused cube. Let me once again go over how you can learn to solve the fused cube if you don't have one, as I will be making a tutorial in the near future on how to make it. If you do not have a fused cube, but you do wish to learn it, you can use only one cube, but you need to hold a 2x2x2 two by two by two block with three fingers, and then only turn the U, R, and F faces to scramble, and then just make sure that when you solve it, you never do L, B, or D moves. It's that simple. So now, in this part two, you just learned how to do the half cross and the three bottom corners. I did that on both cubes. Half cross and three bottom corners. So now what you're going to learn is the F2L pairs. You don't need to learn anything new for this, as it is the normal beginner's method. Because you have access to the R and F faces, you can just easily insert the piece from either side using the normal algorithms. I will discuss those algorithms now, inserting it from the right and inserting it from the left, just in case you don't know how to do that. For the middle pair, where the intersection of the F and R faces is, right in the center here, if the piece matches on the right, you want to do just the normal beginner's algorithm, which is U, U prime, F prime, U, F, U, R, U prime, R prime. Very simple. Now, if it matches on the left here, you want to do the normal beginner's algorithm to move it from here into here. U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And you have it inserted into here. Now, you do not want to do this pair first. I only did that to get the simple one out of the way. You never want to do this pair first. Never. You want to do this one last after you have done this pair and this pair. So first I will show you how to get this piece in. This piece goes into here, but you can't do the normal algorithm because then you couldn't do that. And you can't do the normal algor algorithm this way because then you can't do that move. So what you, you want to look at the front piece here, this edge, once you have it over the other cube like this. And you, have, you want to check if it is matched up or if it isn't. Red and blue obviously does not match up, which means that you want to do this one algorithm and that you do not have the parity case that you need to switch. What you want to do is U prime when you're holding it like this with the second cube right here what you want to do is u prime l prime u prime l u2 l prime u2 l u2 l prime u l and that will insert this piece into there now what happens if it doesn't match on that side I need to teach you a small parity algorithm because if you were to do that that algorithm that I just showed you it'd put it in backwards which is not what you want let me get it back to normal okay now it does match on the front which means that you will, ne you will need to do one short algorithm to flip this piece around before you can use that first algorithm. What you want to do is you can use this on both sides for both of the pieces no matter where they are. So to flip this one around what you want to do is you want to put it on the front face right here and you want to do R U prime R prime F prime U prime F now that will mess up this pair, which is what, you're, what, it's, what is supposed to happen, which is why you do that one last. And then what you do is now it does not match on the front, so you do the normal algorithm. And there is inserting that edge piece. Now you want to insert this edge piece. You do the same thing, except you hold it like this. It does match on the front, which means that you need to do the flipping algorithm. Match it up on the front here 
not on the right, but on the front face, do r u prime r prime f prime u prime f. Now we'll get it out and in the other way. Now it doesn't match up there, which is exactly what you want. So what you want to do is u r u r prime u two r u two r prime u two r u prime r prime. Now we'll insert it into here. And that second algorithm that I taught you to flip the pair in the center, although it will destroy your center pair if you've already done it, it will flip the piece around and make it much easier to insert. And now what you do is you just go back and you redo this first one. Put the corner in, and put the corner in, and then use the beginner's method for the edge piece. And that is how to get F2L on the fused cube. I will give you one more example on this cube, and then I will ask you to clink, click in the link on the bottom of the screen to go to part 3, which is the top cross and OLL. So on your second fused cube here, you want to find the piece that goes in here. And that one happens to be the green and orange piece, which is right here. It doesn't match on the front, so you can just do the third algorithm that I taught you. U R U R prime. U two R U two R prime. U two R U prime R prime. That inserts it in there. And this one needs blue and red, which is right here. Matches on the front though, so you need to do the parity algorithm that I taught you. R U R prime. F prime U prime F. Now it doesn't match on the front, and you can do the normal algorithm which is u prime l prime u prime l u2 l prime u2 l u2 l prime u l that will insert it in there and then you go back and redo your first one insert the corner beginners method and then insert the edge beginners method so now you should have the first two layers of your fused cube solve solved now please click on the link in the bottom of the, at your bottom at the bottom of your screen or in the description to your right uh, to see the part the third part of this tutorial, which is the top cross and OLL.